Was I gonna die alone, surrounded by the collection of plants I've killed but haven't thrown out yet? I was so excited to move to Southern California, which is known for its paradise weather year round. But it also has its problems, like super intense fires, floods, and mudslides. But the scariest of them all, earthquakes. It's like, excuse me, the earth shakes and cracks open to swallow you whole? Like an actual descent into hell? Chill. I'm from the East Coast, where we've got hurricanes and nor'easters and other stormy shit like hail the size of golf balls. And all that scares me, but it's the devil I know. I mean, at least you get some sort of advance notice so you can either evacuate or hole up with your family, light some candles, and argue over Monopoly. But with earthquakes, you never know when it's gonna happen. And my little heart can't take that. Even worse than earthquakes, LA's anxiety about earthquakes. Every other day, there's an article about how the big one is coming and everybody freaks the fuck out. During my first month in LA, hysteria swept the city. I read that to prepare, you need three whole days worth of food and water, which I definitely didn't have. So I headed to Target. Big mistake. It was a full on war in there. I saw soccer moms physically fighting over water jugs and a model slash actor grabbed batteries out of my cart. Also, they were completely out of lighters. Seriously? How am I supposed to start a fire? Oh, matches, right. I, I forget about those. I came home with my supplies and just waited in fear, literally watching Naked and Afraid. In case you don't know, Naked and Afraid is a show where two complete strangers are dropped in some crazy terrain, fully naked, and have to survive for 21 days. It's genius and terrifying at the same time. But it got me thinking, what if I'm naked when the big one hits? <gasps> what if I'm in the shower? <gasps> or or asleep on a warm night? Or, or, or why else would I be naked? Maybe sleeping with someone? <gasps> oh my God, could my relationship with this completely hypothetical hookup survive an earthquake? Time to turn off Naked and Afraid and make an actual plan. Okay, apparently the safest place to be during an earthquake is inside under a sturdy table. Love that. I'm a hermit, so that's right up my alley. But the sturdiest table I have is the Inga, uh, Ingatorp from Ikea. And it's not even new. I got it used off of Craigslist. Would the Ingatorp be strong enough to shield me from disaster? I was starting to freak out. I had been so excited to live alone, but maybe being isolated in my studio apartment was actually dangerous. At least I had Kiki across the hall. So I went over and knocked. Kiki, what is our earthquake plan? Earthquake plan? Honey, if doomsday comes for us, I'm just gonna light some sage, get into child's pose, and let that sh happen. Ugh, for real, Kiki? Listen, if you survive, will you at least check on me? And I'll check on you? I made her promise, and she made me take a shot. It made me feel better. Almost. Not really. Not at all. I, I almost threw up. I went back home and packed a survival backpack full of all the essentials. First aid, some water, canned food, but then also like toilet paper? Oh, a flashlight, and I can't forget chapstick. Honestly, moisturizer in general, I get so dry. And maybe shampoo and soap stuff too, like I'm trying to bathe, right? And razors, am I crazy? I'm all for freedom of hair expression, but do I want to be young and single in the apocalypse with hairy armpits? Okay, I finally felt prepared. The next Sunday, I was sitting on my couch, trolling incels on Twitter, when suddenly the whole room shook. Oh my God, it was happening. You think you know what it's gonna feel like, but you totally don't. It's like everything shakes all at once. Holy crap. Was I gonna die alone, surrounded by the collection of plants I've killed but haven't thrown out yet? I leapt under my Ingatorp and prayed that Ikea wouldn't let me down. I was so freaked out, I did something I never do. I called my mom on purpose. When I told her about the earthquake, she said, 
You know the best way to survive an earthquake? Move back home to New Jersey already! That's when Kiki knocked on my door. Thank God she made it. I cannot stand our upstairs neighbor. He has to move in a whole home gym, barbells, a freaking Peloton. He better not start teaching classes up there. So I guess there are things scarier than earthquakes, like my own brain, or being naked and afraid, or moving home to New Jersey, or me, if you're a plant. <laughs>